this is a kind of hidden, kind of not feature of Dubzado when it comes to getting leads in and the different automations that you can have with these different lead captures. So in your lead capture, there is a drop down for workflows. And today I'm going to show you how to set that up and just how useful it can be. Well, I'm Lauren with the Smarter Creative. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm a certified Dubsado specialist. I love all things automations and systems so that busy creative entrepreneurs just like yourself can actually enjoy running your business instead of being inside of your business and overwhelmed. So if you already know all about how to get your workflows inside of your lead capture and have a lead capture trigger different workflows, then move on. You don't need my help. But if you don't, let's keep watching. So this option is amazing if you have very specific ways of working with clients. My example today is going to be a branding and website offers, but you could also have it for like a branding redesign or a brand guide compilation, a website redesign, a website from scratch, a new logo. Like you can get super granular there and you can also have other ways that people might reach out to you on your contact form. You could have, I'm interested in joining the team. So instead of what services are you interested in, it could be like, what can we help you with? And one of those options could be, I'm interested in joining your team. And then that can trigger a specific email and follow-up for anybody who's interested in joining the team. Maybe you're an agency, <laughs> agency? Maybe you're an agency and you work with both brands and influencers or models or whatever and you're looking to get the different information from the different kinds of people and really just helps you set up more custom automation specific to these different offerings now there's just so many different ways to go about it i'm going to show you a simple process here but hopefully you can use your imagination and expand into all the possibilities for you and your business all right, so we're going to start in our dashboard and going to workflows. So the first thing we need to do is set up the couple of workflows that we want to trigger. So I'm going to add a workflow. I'm going to say this is a lead for branding action. So this is fun. We can have a tag specific to branding. Let's see if I have one. I do not. Perfect. And then depending on your flow, you might want to send over a discovery call to somebody that is doing branding. So let's do a send appointment scheduler, send a discovery call. I've got an email here. Great. Can we hear about you, know, you and your business? And we can personalize it more. What all you're looking for with your new branding. Perfect. About my branding package. Oh, great. Awesome. Apply. And then I always like to change my project status once that call is booked because the Zada will not automatically change project statuses for you. After a call is scheduled, we're gonna look for that discovery call. And then these are ones that I have added in. So I want call booked. If you do not see that project status here, you need to add it to the account. And so that is under projects and customize and you can add a status and you can add call books and keep it as a lead because they are not booked yet. But I have call booked, contract sent, contract signed, follow up, like whatever you need to do. You can do all kinds of things with project statuses. I have another video, I'll link it up above that talks about project statuses in Dubsado. So I'm gonna come back to my workflows. Okay, so you might also want to maybe follow up again. The magic of Dubsado is always in the follow up. So maybe we can send another email that's just like checking in. Always use my emojis. Hi, first, I have some smart keys on my computer that uses these smart fields, but otherwise you can input the smart field here, client, first name, or their full name if you're more professional. Hi, first name, checking in to see if you have any questions for me on branding. I sent over a link to chat the other day. 
but I'm happy to answer any questions via email if you'd prefer. Hope to chat soon and then I'll do my brand signature, which I'm just gonna use my smart field business brand signature, email signature, perfect. Apply. Oh, and then we're gonna change this to maybe three days after all actions are completed. And then I'm gonna move it right underneath the send appointment scheduler. So this goes out and then three days later, this email checking in goes out. I want to also change, I'm gonna create a to-do as soon as the appointment is scheduled. We're gonna look for that discovery call and I'm gonna say, again, smart field. I'm gonna use the client full name needs a proposal sent to them. Go ahead and start next workflow. Perfect. And we'll send an email reminder. No, actually I don't because this is going to get, this is going to happen as soon as they schedule a call and I don't need it to happen. Like I really need to come back to this in the future. I need to not forget to send it to them. So I just need this to be like sitting in my Dubsado projects waiting for me that that needs to be done so I don't forget about it. And then I'm also going to pause the workflow as soon as that appointment has been scheduled because this will stop the follow-up checking in email from automatically going out. It's perfect. So I'm going to come back to workflows. I'm going to copy this lead branding and let's say we have a website design. So we'll go lead website. So we're going to change these to be more specific for that offering. So to remove this, I'm going to say website. I know it's a lot to set up in the beginning, but once it's done, it is done. And you're really giving a more personalized experience to your clients. So here we go. I'm gonna hear Marion what you're looking for with your new website. About my website packages. And then I like to link out to either a PDF that's hosted somewhere else in my Google Drive or a Canva doc, something like that. We can do that. And then the checking in, I'm gonna edit website services. And then this was not specific to branding, so I will just leave that and everything else like works, it matches. So now I'm gonna come over my forms, templates, forms, and I have the sample lead capture here, but you can go by all the things. And what we're gonna need to add is a workflow option. So I already have one on here. You can only add one at a time. So what service are you interested in? And I'm gonna say branding. website and then I'm gonna change this to lead branding and I'm gonna change this to lead website so that's why you have to already have them booked and now when somebody fills out this form it will trigger that workflow and then I'm also going to under settings make sure that this is not trigger that default workflow because I want it to go off of the workflow option here. And then the project status, I want to have labeled as lead captured. That's perfect. And then it'll change to call booked once they book the call. And then the project title, because I don't know honestly if it's a branding or website project until they fill out this form, I'm going to just change that to their name so it's personalized a little. If you leave this blank, it's going to be the name of whatever form title you're using as your lead capture. So we can save it. And then when you're ready to share it, you can embed it in your website using this little code, or you can share this direct link to somebody. All right, I pulled open that form in an incognito tab, and I'm just gonna plug in some fake information. I know this isn't really applicable to all of our questions, but that's okay. Service are you interested in? I'm interested in, let's say website. 
send. And now in our dashboard, we have a new lead captured client here and we can go into it. And I have their lead capture that they wrote. I can look at it here if we go over to workflows. I don't think I have an email set up for this project. Okay, I'm gonna retry. Perfect, okay, all the retries in the world and we should have it here. My email on the sample account had been, a token had gotten lost, had to unconnect it and reconnect it. So all good. And here's that email specific to website that will trigger. And then if I don't schedule that appointment, this is gonna send in three days. But if I do schedule the appointment, my project status is gonna change from lead capture to call booked. And the workflow will be paused and this to-do will get created for me. And it'll all happen automatically. You can add additional like follow-ups in here as well if you want to continue to check in on that lead that came in. Possibilities are endless, but this way you have the project is tagged website. So when you look at all of your lead captures, cause you have so many, you can even filter by who is a website or who is a branding prospect. And you can use your tags to really organize your different projects. I hope that was so helpful. I love doing this for clients. Some of my clients just need a super generic inquiry form because honestly, the way that they work clients from inquiry to like discovery call, it just doesn't matter what exactly like they're interested in. It's going to be the same no matter what. And sometimes simple is just better for the brain and you can always expand later. Now, if you are trying to do this yourself and you are so overwhelmed and are just like, what is happening inside of my Dubzato? That is where I come into a play. I have all different kinds of offers for you in terms of helping you inside of your Dubzato, some DIY, some done with you, some full service where me and my team come in and build out your Dubzato. I love doing it. I love making it work exactly for you. So if you need help, you can schedule a free clarity call with me down below. I'd love to chat with you to see if we're a good fit and if I can help you inside of your Dubzato. And if you're just here for a little ride and you love these tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and turn on those notifications. I'm putting out new videos every week and I'd love to see you over on Instagram. So again, I'm Lauren with The Smarter Creative and I hope you guys have a wonderful week.